Well, good morning and welcome to Faith Fellowship's Daily Word of Encouragement. I hope you had a great Christmas celebration with your family and friends and you know you got a lot of surprises, gifts you may not have expected and they just really blessed your life. But more than anything, I hope you enjoyed the fellowship, being around one another in the, that special occasion representing the birth of our Lord and then just I guess springboarding off of that into family fun and fellowship. I hope you had a great time. I did. My family and I did. And we thank God for it. I'm, I'm going to try not to tell you this every time I speak to you, but I have a new grandson and his name is Levi. And my wife and I, my son and our daughter-in-law could not be happier. Um, we just look forward to all that God's going to do in this child and all that God would enable us to contribute to him. And so you, your children grow up and then they eventually have kids and you hope that they do well and then the grandkids, you get a chance to pay them back for all the, that they gave you and you get a chance to give it back in return. I'm just kidding. I just love the idea. But as the year starts, and it won't be long before it does, I think that you should consider how you're going to pursue this year, 2021. Someone once said that people don't plan to fail, they fail to plan. And so keeping that from happening, or at least talking about it with you right now, I want to suggest a few things. Make a to-do list for yourself. What I like to do is take a look at myself, analyze myself, and think about three things. One, the areas that I'm still weak in or the challenges that I still have or struggle with. And those are areas that maybe I've had them for a lifetime or areas that I just couldn't get together, but it's time. It's time to make those pieces come together. Number two, think about those areas that you're really strong in, that you can just get stronger in, building more and more strength in those areas. And number three, you really want to think about testing new waters, trying things that you always thought about, but maybe were afraid to do. Maybe you didn't have the confidence that you could make it happen. Maybe you had fear of failure. Whatever the case, maybe it's time now to explore new territory, to look at things and begin to do things that maybe it's always been in your heart to do, and you just never made it happen. Three things. Think about your weaknesses and work on them. Make a list. These are areas I need to work on. Two, continue to build on those areas that you're already kind of strong in or you have some ability. And three, get ready to explore new territory. Remember, the Bible says this, submit your plans to the Lord and he will cause them to succeed. That's Bible 101. So, Bring God into the equation. Start to plan 2021 right now. Don't be one of those who fail to plan. Submit those plans to the Lord and he will cause them to succeed. My prayer is with you and that God will bless you and I believe yours with me and that we're going to have a great 2021 together. God bless you.